as per geometry points equidistant from one point is termed as a circle hey tai how boring let's go to the garden and play no not at all in the garden you just play on the merry go round and i feel dizzy sitting on that yes it is fun it moves round and round it rotates like a top hey you know how to make a top right yes do you want to learn okay let's play that let me collect the material required as per geometry points equidistant from one point let's draw a circle on this this is called a compass this is how we can draw the perfect circle using the compass mm, i don't have a compass i'll use this bowl now you can see a point at the metal tip this is called the center of a circle ha ah, let it be let's make a hole in this not too big but just enough for putting a pencil now let's cut it the top will be ready after fixing the pencil in it wow your top is spinning very nicely now i'll also make it mm one thing is remaining i think where is the center point means where exactly should i insert the pencil hmm i'll check here mm, why is this not working hey ishan please check why this isn't working oh really it's not working i guess you have not put a hole properly at the center i took a bowl for drawing circle i do not know how to find the center point Mm let's go to dada he'll suggest something dada see i have drawn a circle on the cardboard and then i cut it hmm and then after putting the pencil in it hmm. the top got ready bingri oh that's really nice how did you insert this pencil exactly at the center dada we put the metal tip at a certain point it is the center point okay that's right then what is the problem where are you stuck i'll tell you i didn't have a compass so i used the bowl to draw a circle but i can't find the center point so i inserted the pencil randomly but my top is not spinning well hmm okay so how to find the center point is your problem uh we'll do one thing go get a piece of paper huh we'll do it on that Yeah Well done. Ha. Huh. Give me the bowl. Yeah. I'll use this as pencil, okay? Yeah. Hmm. Now, let's cut out the circle from this paper. Give me the scissors. Yes. So see, this is a circle. Hmm. Now I will fold it in half. Now this is half of the circle called as semicircle. Now when I unfold this, tell me how many lines do you see? One. Good. Now I'll fold it again. Now tell me, isn't it looking like one fourth of a chapati? Now I'll unfold this. Yes. Now tell me how many lines can you see? Two. Correct. Now 
the point at which these two lines intersect is center of this circle. How come this is the exact center point? Uh, do one thing, keep it on your cardboard. Great, this is matching perfectly. Now this was drawn using the same ball, right? Okay, now see, this is the center point, right? Now insert the pencil into this. Yes, now rotate it. Wow. This is rotating nicely. Better than that one. <laughs> Are you done now? Let's start studying if you have finished playing now. Come on. One second, Dada. I want to say something. Why? What happened now? Just draw one circle on this paper and I'll cut it by scissor. Mm, okay. Uh, I'll do this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, take this. Now I'll try folding it once and see if one line appears or not. Wow, it's appearing nicely. And also it is going straight through the center point of the circle. Now I'll make one more fold. Great, I was right. Center point is exactly at the intersection of these two lines. Wow, today I learned this new trick. <laughs> okay, let's go. Are you done now? Will you start studying? No, Dada, we want to play Katspani. Okay, play for some time and start studying. Then we'll do all that together. Oh, okay, okay. Let's draw a circle. How have you drawn this circle? It's not exact. Draw it neatly. It's nice. Where I can get such a big compass? Our teacher has a big compass for drawing circles on the board. You can't do anything. Why are you fighting? I want to draw a big circle. But we don't have such a big compass. And she is insisting on drawing a nice circle. Wait, I know how to draw a big circle. How come? Do you have a big compass? No. Get one rope. Will a ribbon work? Yes, it will work. Wait, I'll get it. Take this. We will tie one end of this chalk. Like this, rotate in circle. Wow, you are a genius. No, I knew this already. I have seen mom doing the same while drawing Rangoi. I learned a new thing today. <laughs> okay, now have you finished playing? Huh? No, no, no. Come on, start studying now. Enough of it. Come on, come on, come on. Snehal and Sili wanted to play Kachpani. We used to play this game in our childhood. We used to hold few pieces of bangles in our hand and slowly drop them in a circle. Then we used to pick one piece of bangle. While picking up the piece, we were not allowed to touch other piece. Ask your mother or your grandmother. Circle is our friend. It is like our shadow which is always along our side. It is there with us when we get up in the morning, while going to school, while eating, playing and even at the night. All sides of a square are equal. A rectangle has opposite sides equal. You must be wondering, we do not find such property in a circle. Yes, you are right. You have seen this point is a center and this line drawn around it is a circumference of the circle. Now, tick any point on the circumference. Tick another point on the circumference. Now you will find the distance between one point on the circumference and the center is same as the distance between the other two. 
I have taken a stick. This fits between center and one point on a circumference. It fits here as well perfectly. Now let us see with some other points on the circumference. Yes, it fits the same way. Now let us draw a line between center and any one point on the circumference. This line is called as a radius. The length of every radius in a circle is always same. We have seen how Raghav has drawn a circle using thread. We have not changed the length of the thread while drawing the circle. There are so many things in your house which are circles or circular in shape. Plate, thali in which you eat, basket. Draw a circle using these things and measure its radius, diameter and circumference. Let us draw a straight line that joins the point on the circumference and the center and let us extend it till it reaches the circumference again. Now let us measure the length of this extended line. Let's measure it by a stick. Yes, you can fit two sticks exactly. This line is called as a diameter. Let us do the same activity with other two points on the circumference passing through the center. This length of this line is always same. So, we have learnt diameter of a circle is always two times the radius. Now, bring paper and pencil. Hold pencil between two fingers and press it a little with the other hand on the paper. Yes, your circle is ready and that too without using a compass. What did we learn? Drawing circle using the center point. Using a compass for drawing circle. Showing radius and diameter in circle. How to prepare semicircle. Do this activity. Draw a circle using compass. Draw a radius and diameter in the given circle.